Hi guys, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Janelle and you know we're all about the makeup over here. Today's video, I'm feeling soft glam. I haven't done a soft glam look on this channel for so long and that's what I'm feeling today. That's the vibe for today. That's the look that I want. So I'm going to walk you through my soft glam makeup look, showing you all the steps that I use to achieve a flawless and a beautiful soft glam makeup look. So with that said, I'm going to start by prepping my skin. For my primer today, I'm going to go in with the Simple Clear Skin Oil Balancing Moisturizer. This one has zinc in it, which is good for controlling oil. So it's not labeled as a primer. It's a moisturizer, but it's oil balancing. This product controls shine. It has vital vitamins for your skin, no artificial perfume or colors, and it's naturally antibacterial. All right? So I went in with a little bit of retinol last night. So my skin, I have oily skin, trust me. On the, on the worst of days, best of days, I have oily skin. But I just wanted to go in with something a little bit more moisturizing under my under my makeup. However, now that that moisture is there, I'm gonna go in with the Meron Makeup Skin Prep Pro. I've been getting a lot of questions about how I actually use this product and how I incorporate it into my makeup. Now, this on its own can be a little bit drying, so I like to still moisturize underneath. And I'm just squeezing a bit of the product. It's a liquid on the on a cotton pad. And I'm just going to gently press that over the skin. Now this product is so good at controlling oil and it dries down on your skin and you can feel it drying down. All right, so that's drying down nicely. So we have that moisture underneath, but then I went in with the Skin Prep Pro on top of that to help actually further control the oil. Since the moisturizer that I went in with is an oil controlling moisturizer. And as I said, and I say all the time, I have oily skin. So I'm always looking for a solution to help me with that. For my foundation, I'm gonna go in with a Morphe foundation today. I'm going in with the Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation in the shade F4.40. It's a matte finish um, foundation. All right, so we're nicely blended out. And what I love about the Maron Skin Prep Pro is that it automatically mattifies any foundation that I use on top of it. This foundation doesn't normally dry down this quickly or this matte, but it's just giving me such a beautiful finish. That Maron really does help products to dry down and it really does help your makeup to last. And that's why I love it. I don't use it every day. I don't use it every day. But every time I use it, I'm reminded of why I love it so much. 
I'm going to conceal using the MAC Studio Fix 24 hour concealer in the shade NC45. Make sure you get the side of your nose because of the way how my nose is shaped sometimes concealer can just go down into that little crack there so I have to hold my nose and make sure that everything is blended out smoothly I'm going to set all of that down using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade number 30. I'm going in with shade number 30 today. I alternate between 30 and 35. Both of them work for me under my eyes. Number 30 is just a little bit more yellow while number 35 has a more like a brown tone to it. How are you guys doing today? My neighbors are doing some construction, some renovations. So it has been a little bit noisy, but you know, we have to, you know, make sure we upkeep our homes. So it's, it's okay. I'm not complaining. It's just a little loud and they start very early, but you've got to do what you've got to do. So if you hear any, you know, noise during this video, please ignore it. The guys are working already. I'm going to contour my face with the Milani. This is the Milani Contour and Highlight Cream Liquid Duo. There's the stick, the cream stick on one end and a liquid highlighter on the other end and I use shade 05 Dark Deep.
right, so my nose contour might look a little bit harsh, but I'm gonna go over that with my face powder and that's gonna really tone it down. We still want the contour to be present. We don't just wanna blend everything away too much. To set my face, I'm going in with the Black Opal Ultra Matte Foundation Powder. And in this one, I use shade 450 Medium Dark. Honestly, I don't have to do too much setting today because I went in with that Maron Skin Prep Pro and as I said, everything really dries down so quickly. On top of that, I'm just going in with some bronzer just to warm up the perimeter of my face and this is the Juvia's Place bronzer it's their only bronzer and I'm using it in the dark kit and these are the shades in the dark kit I normally just mix them together So base is looking fabulous. Everything is nicely blended. These products work so well together. So I'm just going to do my brows quickly off camera to save some time and come back and do a very cute eye look for you guys. So brows are done and I primed my lids with some of the same MAC 24 Hour The Studio Fix Concealer that I use under my eyes and to highlight. For my eyes today, I'm just going to go in with a Juvia's Place palette. I'm going to use the Bronzed Rustic palette and I'm just going to be working with two shades today. The brown in the palette and then the lighter cakey color. Since we're doing Soft Glam and yeah, that's what Soft Glam is. Neutral colors, no shimmer, no sparkle, no glitter, nothing like that. Everything is just skin toned and flawless, nicely blended. And that's how I want my eyeshadow to come out today. So I'm gonna start by going in with the brown in the palette on a fluffy blending brush. And I'm gonna just work that all into my crease. This eye look is going to be so simple because it's soft glam. I'm gonna go in, now that that's blended out, I'm gonna go in with the cakey color. It's another matte color. And just work that all over my lid. So that we have that nice gradient from the brown to the cakey color 
so everything is smooth everything transitions perfectly Just for some definition under my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with my bronzer and I'm going to go in with the darker shade and just work that under my lower lash line. Alright, so that's the very simple, soft glam eye look complete. However, you know me, I'm going to pop my lashes on. So I'm going to just do that quickly, come back and we'll finish off the rest of my face. Alright guys, so my lashes are on and for lashes today, I tried a new brand of lashes. This is the Kala Lash and it's their Full Mink Weightless Volume and Curl in Style Divine. This is what the packet looks like and this is what the lashes look like when they're on. Nice and fluffy, fluffy lashes, a little bit of drama. For my blush, I'm going in with the MAC Sheer Tone Blush in the shade Pinch Me. Because it's soft glam, I don't want anything too bright, too bright of a pink. Just a nice, muted, beautiful looking pink. Just to put a little bit of rosiness back to the cheek. Not that I'm rosy, because I don't blush rosy. Clearly because of my complexion. But you know what I mean, just to put a little bit of rosiness on the cheek. For lips today, I'm gonna start by lining my lip with the matte lip pencil in the shade Night Moth. I'm going to go in with a J2 lipstick in the shade Dark Brown. In the center of my lip, I'm going to go in with an LA Girl Matte flat velvet lipstick in the shade Snuggle. It's a nice nude. And I'm going to top that with a NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu.
We're finally done, so we have to set our face. I'm gonna go in today with the Maybelline Lasting Fix 16 Hour Matte Setting Spray. Alright guys, and there we have it. This is my soft glam makeup look. I went in today with the Juvia's Place Bronzed Rustic Palette. But I only worked with these two shades, the brown shade and the cakey shade on my lid. I have a beautiful browny nudey looking lip. The blush is very light because we don't want anything that's too stand out, anything too pink. We are nicely bronzed, the complexion is nice. At the beginning I showed you how I use the Meron Skin Prep Pro, um, particularly how I use it over a moisturizer so that you can have moisturized skin but you can have something that still controls the oil at the end of the day. So I think that's the best of both worlds. Alright, so I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, just drop me a comment letting me know what you enjoyed the most. What's your favorite part of the makeup? Let me know if you're still into soft glam or if you're not really into soft glam and you're into brights, although we are in the fall. Just let me know that. Also, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. You should be subscribed if you're watching my videos and you're enjoying them. Make sure that you subscribe and you join the family here in Makeup Land. All right, guys. So until next time, be fabulous as always. And I'll see you on Wednesday next. Bye, guys.